My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some UI path. Today we'll talk about a dynamic selector, how to create it. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. That'll mean a lot to me. So we want to create a selector which can just by, if we change a variable, then it will change the country here at this VPN. So right now we are connected to a Croatian VPN. And if say that there, if a variable where the customers, where the customers from is like Australia, then we want the selector to change automatically. So instead of just creating like uh, like an unlimited amount of ifs or a switch and uh, make like 20 different clicks, then we can just make one and change the variable accordingly. Let's see how that works. We go to UI path. We'll just find a click. We will only just create the click today. So and then we will indicate what on the screen we want to indicate the country here. Just pick one of them. You can pick anything, but right now we'll pick the country. That will be our example. Then we click Edit Selector. We can see this selector. It works. It has a name and an IDX. I think this IDX, that's their name in the list, and we can change that to an asterisk. So like this, it still works. And then uh, the country here. So back in the days, we have to go over here to target and uh, change the selector like manually in a really small window. But now we can just mark this Albania, right click, create variable or an argument if you want, or choose an existing, uh, existing variable. However, we want to create this. We want to name it str country and the default value that's OK. That could be Albania. Just click OK. We can try to validate it and we can see that it finds it. We can even change this one to say that we want to go to Brazil. Then we just change it down here in the uh, variable manager in the default value. So we go to Brazil. Like this, we can go up in the selector, edit selector. You can see that it still works. So let's try to fly to Australia. No, well, that's not a nice place in the moment. Uh, bless them. So let's go to Bulgaria. So we just change the variable here, Bulgaria, and we can see uh, if it works. Uh, I hope so. So now it will click the B Bulgaria because we specified this Bulgarian variable. And we can see that it clicks now. And um, so it changed to Bulgaria. It's connecting to Bulgaria now. So every time we just change this default value, it will change the country up here. That's a dynamic selector right there. So the trick was to find it in the selector, the name that you want, uh, mark it, and then choose uh, the different things down here. How we can even, like, uh, let's make, let me give in another example. We could do it in this notepad. So what we'll do here, we just want to click the five different menus, uh, menu options up here. So let's uh, indicate this on the screen. Let's choose file. And we'll just go to edit the selector again. And here we will right click. We will create a variable called str menu. And the value will just be file in the first instance here. File, we click OK. You can see that this is clicked. So say that we want to click on format. Then we just change this selector. And then we can try to run this little sequence to see if your path is doing what we want. So my UI path is a bit slow today. I should get a new computer, but it will now it runs and it clicks format. So that's it for today with dynamic selectors. If you enjoyed the video, I hope you will subscribe and otherwise have a really good day. That's it for now. Bye bye.